Auto Enthusiast Saber, we're looking at the 2012 Chrysler 200 LX. We're going to do an in-depth review, check out the interior, and take it for a drive. Stay tuned. <laughs> The 2012 Chrysler 200 LX sedan is a very conservative sedan designed for practicality and is quite classy. The 200 has a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine that produces 173 horsepower and 166 pounds per feet of torque. This sedan weighs about 3,400 pounds and makes 21 miles to the gallon in the city and 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. The 200 is front wheel drive and an automatic transmission is standard. There are also hardtop convertible trims. The exterior design is moderate and attractive. Chrysler strayed away from the sporty and aggressive look most sedans were adopting by 2012. The 200 is very popular in the middle class business and professional world. The upscale interior and official look provide a vehicle for all ages, both genders, and something that satisfies most needs. One issue with the sedan is the trunk. The trunk space for the 200 was very small, definitely smaller than its close competitors. The back seats were also a downside to the 200. Although the seats themselves were comfortable, leg and headroom were tight, giving the back seat a very cramped feel. The gauges were actually quite nice. Not conforming to the moderate exterior, they had a sporty nature to them. The wheel itself was nice, a basic layout, comfortable holds, and only the important controls on it. The interior felt pretty upscale, the quality of all the buttons seemed high, the layout was simple, and everything was easy to use. The shifter knob was a little disappointing and had a cheap feel. The cup holders were adequate. The glove compartment was a bucket design and offered a standard amount of storage. The small space below the temperature controls was a nice added feature. The Armist had a double compartment, offering space similar to competitors, not too small but nothing special, enough space to hold your necessary items. Overall, the visibility in this car is pretty good. Uh, the windows are a little wider than one would expect. Um, a feeling that I'm getting sitting in the car is that I'm sitting further back because <clears throat> the apex of the windows are further forward. So I feel further back. I feel like the car is like in front of me, but it's not. Um, the visibility out of the back is actually pretty tight for a sedan, um, but over overall there's a lot of visibility in the front. Uh, there's also a lot of like natural light coming into the car because the way the actual cockpit, the inside of the car is angled. All right, we're coming up to that straightaway to give this thing a little bit of gas to see what it's got. Let's see what it can do. So yeah, for a four-cylinder, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a very loud car. Um, it revs pretty high. It's It shifts at about 4,000, 4,500 RPM, which is pretty good. It recognizes that you're stepping on the gas. Um, but other than that, you know, the pickup is okay, it's kind of average for sedans, it's nothing special, and the feel when you're accelerating is nice. Uh, it's very refined, uh, Chrysler's definitely focused on kind of making the driver comfortable during that acceleration. It's not, it's not, this car isn't for people that are looking to race or drag race or any of that good stuff. Um, it, like when you, even when you accelerate, the car like adjusts so you're not thrown back or it's just meant for comfort. Um, the seat, I'm not that comfortable with the seat. It's pretty average. It's really nothing special. There's no side support. Um, braking is great in this car. Very predictable. A lot like the Chrysler 300s, which is nice. Um, and the feel of the road is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's like a nice, it's almost like a luxury sedan, the way it feels. Uh, it's very refined, like that. Now, turning in this car is pretty great. The steering wheel, the steering is very light. Um, very, very light, which is impressive, especially because it's not 
a super expensive car. It, the steering wheel is a lot like more expensive cars. It has a very Mercedes-esque kind of turning. Uh, that's how the steering wheel feel is. Um, the actual turn, there's some body sway, which is, it's not too bad, um, especially for a heavy car, it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> the overall, like, kind of drive, I don't really know how to, like, categorize what I'm talking about, but just the way the car feels as a person inside the car, as a driver, it's very bouncy. Um, and I think that's my vision line. I can see a lot more of the uh, top of the car, just the way it's angled. And when that moves around like a normal car would move around, it kind of like disorients me. It feels like I'm bouncing, which I'm not. Um, I just get that feeling. It's, it's a comfortable ride. Um, it, this would be, I feel like I, maybe not in long trips, because just because of the seat. Um, but it's definitely meant to be kind of like a classy professional car, um, something that you could drive someone around. The back seats are pretty comfortable. You could definitely drive somebody else around in the back seats as a, in a professional manner. Um, the front seems, it's like a, visually and aesthetically it's nice, but drive and comfort, it's pretty much standard to all of its competitors. Um, it doesn't really, other than the features and the interior, it doesn't distinguish itself drive-wise from other competitors. One thing that I've noticed um, after driving it for a little while, I feel like I say that a lot, but again, um, when I said talking about the braking, you know, it's it's nice, it's like the Chrysler 300, but when you're just kind of like idling, you're moving forward and you stop quickly, like if you're trying to get up to a turn or you're in traffic, it's a little uncomfortable, it's a little jerky, which I didn't expect. Now accelerating again, it's got some pretty good acceleration for a four-cylinder, look at this that. It's actually really loud for a four-cylinder, which I like, um, which is nice. You didn't really, I didn't expect that driving a four-cylinder. I've driven the six-cylinders before. Those are fun, they're loud. This is just as loud as the six-cylinder, which is definitely nice. It doesn't get to speed as quickly, but it feels like you're moving to speed. Um, I've driven a lot of cars that get to speed quickly but don't feel like it. Um, this is a car that feels like it but doesn't get to speed. Um, which is a funny kind of relationship, but that's what you get out of it. So you feel like you're accelerating, but you're not really getting there. Um, which is nice, it will spice up your everyday driving, which is, again, is a nice feature. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave comments and questions below. Let me know what your experience has been with this car. Please subscribe and check out some of our other reviews.